Uh, Vipers are cars for crazy people. Let's go drive. Come on now. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to feel that in the car. Uh, holy freaking fuck. And then it does a burnout at 5,500 in third gear. One hour of track time. Power mirrors don't work. Air conditioning doesn't work. Airbag doesn't exist. What's up, everybody? Well, there's a car behind me. This one is sold, and that's not what I'm talking about today. I tell you, like, I'm, I'm sort of an expert in the exotic car rental field, and even I get burned sometimes, and it's not because the processes aren't there. It's always human error. I'll tell you how I'm going to address that, but as you look here at this lovely bald tire, uh, I had a customer who called up uh, driving the 4080, rented it for, like, three weeks, right? So, big rental. Um, and he calls up and he's like, yeah, just notice the inside of the tires are bald. This is like uh, three or four days in. And I'm like, are you sure about that? And he's like, yeah, the cords are showing. So yes, cords are showing. Now, this is one of those things that I was like, that's strange because those are new tires. It's when I got these wheels, I got new tires. So there was, all, and so somebody clearly did something to them. I'm like, all right, either there's only two things that make the inside wear unevenly, right? It's either the alignment is off, so when you look at it from outside the car, you see that. And it's like, okay, there's still life left in them. But when you look from underneath, you see that. That's why I have a process that photographs, and not, not so much on the front tires, but we always take photos all around the car. And there's about 15 delivery photos for each rental. Now, when I say that, just figure we get each wheel individually. So we get one two, three, four photos. And I take, or I have the, the employees take one, two, three photos on each side. Get the top and the back, get the front hood and the windshield, and then do underneath in the back to get the rear bumper because these fins and everything cracking or being damaged is always a possibility. See like here, this is from people backing into like parking stumps. Not a big deal, but when you take these photos, you also get the tires underneath. And the same thing when you do the front, you get the tires underneath the front by taking the lower front bumper, which is the most common thing to be scraped. See here, even though it's got a lift system, you do get scraping underneath the front bumper. Now, it's one of those things that tires are a wear and tear item. And now most of the cars, like the Range Rover is not gonna need tires. We're gonna sell it by 20, 25,000 miles and it's got 40,000, 50,000 miles in a factory set of tires. It's also not driven very hard comparatively to somebody maybe taking this out and going through the mountains for the day. However, these tires here were new. And I know they were new because we bought them with the wheels and they were no less than a month old. So I had to order these tires and I'm like, all right, well, First thing you have to do when, when a customer calls and says the tires are bald, and especially when he's spending lots of money, um, is I'll get that taken care of. You solve the problem first, you figure out who is to blame or who's going to pay for it second. And this is clearly because somebody was roasting the tires. There is no way on the planet that these tires went from new, because I went back to photos from two rentals prior, and they were still brand new. Here's where the human error comes in. The guy didn't have the photos from in between these two rentals. He didn't take the one set of photos that he didn't take was in between the rentals. So I am now, it's either the guy who has it who roasted them up and just said, give me new tires, which I've had happen to me before. I had to sue those people because he's like, oh my God, blah, 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 blah. And this is before YouTube. I, uh, I need new rear tires on this. I got a flat or something like that. And we're like, he's going, I'll pay for the tires. I'll get them on. We're like, no, no, we're going to reimburse you. We'll give you an extra day in the car. Turns out the guy was making a video. He was drifting around the parking lot so much that in the Porsche, the rollover bars came out because the thing they thought it was going to flip. And he just destroyed the rear set of tires and put new tires on that we then uh, paid to repair 
or re reimbursed him for, then we ended up suing him because he was an a-hole. But on a situation like this, I can usually prove, all right, you got the tires with this, you returned it with that. Now, if somebody chirps the tires or something like that, I can never tell if a little bit is missing. That is like donuts in the parking lot bad. And that's something where uh, somebody would get billed for this, whether it started out with uh, a perfectly usable tire with 60% or if it was a brand new tire like it was with 100%, somebody wasted an entire set of tires and that's not what you're paying for. Even though you're paying two grand a day to rent this car, you're not paying to do that. And I would have billed that customer for the replacement tires, both of them in the back. Instead, since I couldn't prove it, I have to end up eating it. Now, how do I prevent this in the future? Well, simple, I'm making an app and the app is going to have everything that I need uh, and whether or not, I've had this in the past, whether or not the employee deleted the photos or just looked around the car and said, I don't, I've got a thousand photos of this car on my phone. I don't have to take it because I can walk around and see there's no damage. The reason the photos exist is so if you miss damage, we can catch it later. That's why it's there. And it protects both me and it protects the customer because I now I'm, that's the only time I really get stuck is when I can't pinpoint a specific customer, I'm not gonna just accuse both of them. I could accuse both of them and one of them would be like, and you would sort of feel out who did it, but it's not worth it because now I'm gonna wrongly accuse one of my customers of doing something they didn't do. So I had to eat this, I don't know what it is, I gotta check my tire rack receipt but figure about uh, 12 or $1,500. And the guy was all the way up in upstate New York. So I had to send a truck up and back same day, cost me a couple hundred bucks in labor. That's like a $2,000. I'm just gonna say a $2,000 F up on somebody's part. And pretty much the guy <laughs> sent up to do it because he was the one who checked the car in previously. Um, but ultimately it happens to the best of us. Uh, somebody roasted the tires on my Ferrari. I don't know who it is. They got away with one, they slipped one past me. Savor the flavor, kid, because it's not going to happen again. I'm making an app that is going to make this entire rental process so turnkey that I can find a random person on the street, say, can you take this phone and deliver this car for me? And they can do it and make me covered uh, physically all the way around the car. So if anything happens, I'm covered. Uh, and liability-wise, all the correct signatures uh, and processes for the rental. So if you want to start a rental company, call me up. I'll license that for you. Anyway, Rob Ferretti. Checking out, just letting you make, making you feel good about yourself that it doesn't just happen to anybody uh, or shifty rental companies. It happens to me. That's how I deal with it. And now I just have a, a seat that I'm going to throw in the dumpster. And I got to pay to scrap the tire. <laughs> so I had another five bucks or 10 bucks on that. Uh, thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow. So you guys are familiar with my other company, Adventure Drives, right? Well, we're going to be going to Scotland in October. We're going to be doing Scotch distilleries playing golf at St. Andrews if you want to do that, walking around, seeing lakes, waterfalls, driving the North Coast. It's going to be an amazing trip. Prices start as low as $2,500 per person for the shorter trip in Scotland. If you're interested in going, check out the link in the description.